Around the Gem City, people love their Dayton Flyers. This is just an outlet for everybody. Almost four decades in, John Foreman is one of their biggest supporters. My sophomore year of high school, my uh, Spanish teacher gave me tickets to the game, and I went and got to see Roosevelt Chapman for the first time and basically fell in love. Been a Flyer fan ever since. Foreman can talk shop about the Flyers to anyone at Bullwinkles in Miamisburg. They've always near and dear right here to my heart. A restaurant he owns. I was even at the Flyer game the day my daughter was born when we played Miami of Ohio. He, like so many others, thought this year's version of Dayton basketball had the city buzzing. It's been a blast to go into the games, watch them just the way they play, and then Obi Toppin's highlight dunks. Amazing. Yeah. Sometimes things are bigger than sports. And with coronavirus concerns gripping the nation and the world, the dream season had to end. Fears were confirmed, but bigger things with what we got going on right now. So at the end of the day, you know, it's, uh, you got to take it all in stride. As fans regroup, just like the team they cheer for, there will always be that question, what if? Be arguing this forever, you know, with the, with the Flyers have been a number one seed, would they have been a Final Four team? Could they have cut down the nets in Atlanta? For now, they'll cherish the memories. I really do think this could have really been a special year, basically something Flyer fans have been waiting their whole lives for. They'll also hope to make new ones, too. You'll always be top team in my heart, Obi Toppin, keep on dunking at the next level. Trey Landers, I know you'll be super successful in life. Same with you, Ryan Mikesell. Oh, much success for everybody, and then the rest of you guys will see you next year. Hopefully we'll, uh, you guys can do the same.